Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Tom, Amateur Call, K2BEW. This is the introduction to my channel, which will feature vintage radio, amateur radio, software-defined radio, and other fun things thrown in from time to time. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about my new camera that I'm going to be doing all future videos on. This is a Sony Bloggy Touch, a used one from eBay. Got a good deal on it. And hopefully it'll give us a better quality video than this old Cybershot Sony picture camera that really isn't made for videos. When I come back on, I'll be videoing with the new camera and talk a little bit about my channel and my future plans for it. Thanks for watching. Greetings YouTube. Hello, this is Tom, K2BEW, and I'm back with the Bloggy Touch. Let's see how this video is. I hope it's a better quality than the other one. It ought to be. 720p. This is the ham bench, and I'm going to talk a little bit about my channel again. Uh, I'm a ham radio operator. enjoy that very much. And I also enjoy vintage radio restoration, which is a hobby I picked up from YouTube, thanks to uh, John, uh, Joe R. Nunn on YouTube that many of you will know. And uh, after watching his videos, I started recapping and restoring old radios and have a lot of fun with that. My next project is laying here in front of you. These are all the capacitors and rebuild kit for the Kenwood TS520. This is a vintage uh, 1970s radio transceiver, the first hybrid transceiver that Kenwood made. Uh, this one, I don't, it's impossible to know the exact date, but they started making these in 73. And uh, this one I bought a couple years ago off eBay. It works fine, but I only have about 90 watt out on it. They're capable of about 140. Uh, if you get 100, you're good. I mean, it's made to be a 100 watt transceiver, but it can put out up to 140. And it intermittently doesn't receive every once in a while. And part of that could be a relay in there. There is a relay. There's two relays in there that I'm going to replace that I have uh, replacements for. And then also part of it is it has all the original capacitors. This is a 40 year old radio that needs to be restored. So I'm going to do a series on it. I've never done a series on a restoration. And we're going to go through and replace every capacitor, every electrolytic capacitor in it, and some of the resistors. This is a rebuild kit that I got from hybridrestore.com. His name is Jim. He's a real great guy to work with. He will uh, find what you need. If he doesn't have it in stock, he might be able to track it down for you. He restores these radios himself for a, for a fee. You can send a radio to him. So if I ran into real trouble with this and it wasn't working, I could always pay to have him troubleshoot it and get it working again. But hopefully... Uh, it'll work. So that's the next project in the queue and the rest of my channel is going to basically feature restoration of other video of other radios and also operating on ham radio and that's the new Anon 10 uh, software defined transceiver from Apache Labs that I'm going to probably do some future videos on and of course there's the HQ129X that I have restored and that's working uh, well, and I'll probably do some more videos on that. I want to put a crystal calibra calibrator in it, and what that does is help make sure you're on frequency exactly. So that's the uh, future of the state of the channel. I almost said station, and hopefully uh, we'll have some fun, and we'll post some other things, and occasionally do a offbeat video from time to time it's not necessarily radio related and hopefully this video quality is much better than the other camera we'll see thanks for watching this is Tom K2BEW clear